Hi everyone. What is an information technology major? So you're probably looking at this degree right now and you know you want to get into computers uh, as a student, that's what you want to do as a career, and you may have looked at computer science and then you see this and you're not really sure, well what is this? How does this compare to computer science? So let's start by comparing them. Uh, both of these degrees are technology majors, but they do have some differences. One of the biggest ones is as a computer science major, you have to take a lot of really high level math classes. So if you're the type of person that doesn't fare well in high level math, this might help you out to go for this degree. Now, if you're the type of person that says, I wanna work with computers, but I don't wanna do any programming, this is not the degree for you because you're gonna have to do a lot of programming in this degree. Uh, for instance, we start with a introductory programming course. A lot of majors have to take that. Then we do a computer science course, computer science one. In our program, there was only actually ever two computer science courses, uh, computer science one and computer science two. We take computer science one. From there, uh, well, you can actually interchange when you take these, but there's object-oriented programming. We did that in Java. Uh, the same one as computer science students do. And then from there, we go to a course called Enterprise Computing, where instead of doing Computer Science 2, we do a programming course that deals more with writing programs that are based around networks and databases. This is a theme that we're gonna kind of uh, repeat quite a bit in this video, that information technology majors differ from computer science majors in that we are focused less on the high level uh, crazy math algorithms and more on interfacing with databases and user data. So user data is a big deal in IT now. No matter what you're working on, your application will probably deal a lot with user data. And this is where IT majors tend to fare well. So I am a graduate in information technology, bachelor's in science from University of Central Florida. I interned when I was there for a company called ServiceNow. They run a development platform for developing applications more quickly, but those applications are generally based around dealing with user data and uh, a big database, basically. Um, it's also good for interfacing with other systems in your company. Generally, it is not, uh, you do not develop uh, public-facing applications with it, but you can, and there are some people that have uh, implementations of ServiceNow developed applications that are uh, publicly facing. So back to the degree, what I did with it after that was I became an applications developer using ServiceNow. This is a really good fit for an IT major because we learn a lot of programming. Uh, we don't have the crazy high level polygon count math that computer science might have, but we do a lot of things that deal with networks, and that's something that computer science majors might not actually do that much of, because computer science is a little bit more focused on the theory and less focused on the practical implementation. Now, that being said, not all applications are the type of application that works on, you know, putting things out to the masses. Generally today, they more often are. There are a lot of plate, like a lot of ways you can go with an IT degree. I personally went to application development. I write code every day. That's what I do. Now there are some um, IT graduates that will not do that. An, an example of a place you can go as an IT major is a sysadmin position, where you are just writing little scripts that run on servers that handle one-time jobs, or perhaps scheduled scripts that handle one-time jobs over and over again. This is different than just straight programming because in the case of, of these um, types of, of things, you're gonna have to work a lot with things that have already been developed by other people, like Windows Server, right? You might think it's easy to get good at Windows Server, but it's not. There's a lot of intricacies to it. There are a lot of things you can do, you can't do, and that you shouldn't do, and maybe a few that you should. So. Sysadmin is another great way to go as an IT major. Not to say there aren't computer science majors that are sysadmins because there certainly are. Uh, this uh, gets me to a, a bit of a thing with all of this that 
I was always told as I was coming up through the ranks that don't worry about which degree you're in, if you're in IT, if you're in computer science, if you're in computer engineering, because the truth is you're going to end up in the same place. And this was reinforced when I went to be an intern, because as an intern at ServiceNow, I, I was one person. There was another IT major as an intern. Then there was a computer science major. And then there was a computer engineering major. And we all had the same internship. So another thing I can say is where I work now. There are a lot of people I work with that are computer science majors. Uh, probably more, definitely more than there are IT or information systems. And a lot of that is because they're older than me. And uh, in the, back in the day, there wasn't an IT degree. It was just computer science. That was the one that you would get if you wanted to work with computers. And that's really all there was. Now we're diversifying a little bit with these degrees. We are offering degrees that allow people to further specialize and further focus on different types of development. Now, like I said, you don't have to be a developer. You can also be a sysadmin. Another one you can do is a networking technician where you it's kind of your job to look at the network, say the developers can't can't communicate with the server that they need to communicate with, well, it's your job to figure out why and figure out what the solution is. It's also your job to architect the network. If that's already been done, it's your job to maintain the network. So there's a lot of things you can get to in a, as an IT major. I'm not trying to say that you can't do the polygon count game dev or, or anything like that. Really, the thing, the thing about it is, as an IT major, you are learning how to program. That is one of the big things that you will do. So learning how to program means you can kind of do whatever you want. It's really up to you in any of these degrees, whether it's IT or computer science, to choose where you want your focus to be. So if you choose something that maybe isn't user data related, really isn't network related, you can still go and do that. You know, once you have the, the skills to do it, you can do that thing. Now, but I, I would say this video is more about which degree do you want to go with, uh, you know, if you have something in mind. And if you want to be a game developer, I would not recommend the IT degree over the other degrees, computer science uh, being the main one. There are also specific uh, game development related degrees. But, you know, if you're an IT major and you decide, I really want to do game development, then yeah. Yeah, you can definitely do that. At that point, the companies just want to see that you have a degree and you prove that you can program the stuff that you want to program, you'll get the job. Not to say it's not competitive and hard, but you can. Back to the degree itself and the differences. I took a, a class in my degree where we had a kind of a, a bunch of computers in a room and a server or servers and, and some routers and whatnot. And the whole point of the class was for us to set this up as a working system. Now, why is this important to IT specifically? The reason really is because one great place to go as an IT major is into dealing with intercompany applications and systems. So, for instance, what I do is I write programs that are used by people within the company but are not generally forward facing so nobody else in the public you know can see the application that I wrote but if you're an employee of that company then you can why is an IT major a good fit for this well anytime you're dealing with an application like this you're dealing with a lot of user data and data in general for instance one thing that I helped with was we have a small car rental service where I work and the idea is that people that need to go somewhere uh, at the company can rent one of these cars we have and and have them to use. So this is more complicated than it sounds because you have to look at the user data, what permissions they have, what departments they're in. You have to look at how many cars you have, so there's a deba database of cars. And then you have to look at the calendar and the time. And you have to be able to have, you know, give the user a clean interface in which to book their car rental, 
be able to check that it will work, it can work, and that it's valid, and, and that nobody else is, is basically what I mean by will work is no one else is renting all the cars at that very moment. And then you have to have a clean interface in, you know, where they can see what's going on with their car, where the people who actually run the car place can communicate with them if necessary. So it's that type of stuff where you're dealing heavily with data that IT majors tend to do well. So there, that's a, a, one example. I do not want to make it sound like this is specifically what IT majors need to do because it's not. And this is just what I do now. So yes, the degrees are very similar. In IT, you will get out of some of the highest levels of math that you would have to do as computer science. I should say, if, if you are not doing well in algebra, this is probably not for you. You do have to get up through trigonometry in the degree I went through at University of Central Florida. Um, you also have to do discrete mathematics. So it's not a catch-all for avoiding math. It's not like the best way to go to avoid math. But if high-level math is not what you're into, I would not, uh, I would not argue with that motive necessarily. I would argue with the idea that I want an easier degree because I wouldn't say that it's easier. A lot of the networking and a lot of, uh, you know, the, those types of classes have their own challenges and can be very difficult. I can definitely see how there's somebody that could be good at the networking stuff and not good at the high level math and vice versa. Also, you're going to have to work with uh, databases. So if you don't like working with databases, uh, you may not know this going in. If you do or not, you will you may have to learn on the fly. But if that's the case, this is not for you. And especially if you are going to go into this degree because you want to do a technology degree, but you don't want to deal with a lot of programming, this is certainly not for you. There's a lot of programming in this course. I laid out the programming courses that I took, but most every course that I took other than that dealt with programming in some way and usually the classes would actually to prove that you understood the concept would have you write a program to demonstrate that so i don't recommend uh going into this degree to avoid any of these things because these are things that are, that are going to be quite prolific so that is what the degree is i will say uh, if i'm going to emphasize anything one of the biggest things is you're going to tend to end up, you know, these days, a lot of people don't actually end up working even in the field that they got their degree in. Uh, if you shrink that a little bit, you're going to be doing uh, your job that you get after you graduate with people from all of those different tech degrees, computer science, uh, computer engineering. They're going to end up with the same job as you with the same role. It's just going to be how you got there and what your strengths and weaknesses are. So that is my best explanation of the information technology degree, how it differs from a computer science degree, and what to kind of expect going through this degree. It wasn't easy for me, but it was definitely worth it, and I recommend the degree as a whole. But I would say going through it, make sure you work hard, try to get internships. Of course, that goes for any tech degree because it is a... Uh, a very competitive field. So good luck out there and uh, have a good night.